Hey there, fellow gardeners. It's your friend from Ruth Haven Grounds, and today I'm pulling back the curtain on one of the most underrated secrets in the gardening world. You know that dark, sticky bottle of molasses sitting in your pantry? The one you bought for that holiday baking session and forgot about? Well, it's about to become your garden's new best friend. I stumbled upon this game-changing trick about three years ago when a seasoned gardener at my local nursery casually mentioned she feeds her plants molasses. I thought she was pulling my leg. Molasses? In the garden? But after seeing her explosive root systems and vibrant, thriving plants, I had to investigate. What I discovered completely transformed how I approach root development, and I'm honestly shocked more gardeners aren't shouting this from the rooftops. Let's talk about what's actually happening when you introduce molasses to your soil. Molasses isn't just some folk remedy passed down through generations without merit. This thick, nutrient-dense syrup is packed with essential minerals that plants absolutely crave, including potassium, calcium, magnesium, iron, and manganese. But here's where it gets really interesting. The real magic of molasses isn't just about feeding your plants directly. It's about creating an underground ecosystem that's so vibrant and active, your roots have no choice but to explode with growth. When you add molasses to your soil, you're essentially throwing a feast for beneficial soil microbes. These microscopic workers are the unsung heroes of your garden, and molasses is like rocket fuel for them. These beneficial bacteria and fungi multiply rapidly when fed molasses, and as their populations boom, they break down organic matter more efficiently, fix nitrogen from the air, suppress harmful pathogens, and create enzymes that make nutrients more available to plant roots. The result? A living soil ecosystem that's working around the clock to support massive root development. I know some of you are thinking this sounds too good to be true, so let's dig into the actual science. Molasses is particularly rich in carbohydrates, specifically simple sugars like sucrose, glucose, and fructose. When you add these sugars to your soil, you're providing an immediate energy source for beneficial microorganisms. Here's what happens on a microscopic level that has massive implications for your plants. Beneficial bacteria like Bacillus and Pseudomonas species feed on these sugars and multiply exponentially. As they grow, they produce organic acids that help break down minerals in the soil, making nutrients like phosphorus and potassium more accessible to plant roots. These microbes also produce plant growth hormones like auxins and gibberellins, which directly stimulate root growth and branching. Mycorrhizal fungi, which form symbiotic relationships with plant roots, also thrive in molasses-enriched soil. These fungi extend the effective reach of your plant's root system by hundreds of times, accessing water and nutrients that roots alone could never reach. The relationship is beautifully symbiotic. The fungi get sugars from the plant, and in return, they deliver nutrients and water directly to the root system. The potassium content in molasses deserves special mention. Potassium is crucial for root development, helping with cell division and expansion. It also improves a plant's ability to withstand stress, whether from drought, disease, or temperature fluctuations. When you're feeding molasses to your soil, you're essentially giving your plants a slow-release potassium boost that supports ongoing root development throughout the growing season. Now, let's get practical, because, you know, knowing about molasses is one thing, but using it correctly is where the real results happen. I've experimented extensively with different application methods, and I'm going to share what actually works. First, you need to choose the right type of molasses. Always opt for unsulfured blackstrap molasses. This is the third boiling of sugar syrup and contains the highest concentration of minerals and nutrients. Sulfured molasses has sulfur dioxide added as a preservative, which can harm beneficial soil microbes, exactly what we're trying to cultivate. You can find blackstrap molasses at most grocery stores or health food shops, and a single bottle will last you an entire growing season. For a basic soil drench, which is my go-to method for established plants, mix one tablespoon of blackstrap molasses per gallon of water. Make sure you dissolve it completely by stirring vigorously or shaking it 
in a closed container. This solution can be applied directly to the soil around your plants every two weeks during the active growing season. I typically apply it in the early morning or late evening to avoid any issues with the solution sitting on leaves in hot sun. If you're starting seeds or transplanting seedlings, you can create a root soaking solution with half a tablespoon of molasses per gallon of water. Soak your seedling roots in this solution for about 15 minutes before planting. I've noticed seedlings treated this way establish themselves faster and develop stronger root systems right from the start. For container gardens and potted plants, I reduce the concentration slightly to one teaspoon per gallon, especially for smaller pots. Container soil can become anaerobic more easily than garden beds, and too much sugar can sometimes tip the balance if drainage isn't perfect. Apply this diluted solution every three weeks during the growing season. Here's where molasses really shines and where I've seen the most dramatic results in my own garden at Root Haven Grounds. If you're making compost tea, molasses is the secret ingredient that takes it from good to absolutely incredible. When brewing compost tea, I add two tablespoons of molasses per five gallons of water along with my compost. The molasses feeds the microbes you're trying to extract and multiply from the compost, resulting in a tea that's teeming with beneficial life. I brew mine for 24 to 36 hours with an aquarium air pump to keep it oxygenated, and the molasses ensures maximum microbial activity. The plants that receive this molasses-enriched compost tea show remarkable vigor. I'm talking about root systems so robust and extensive that when I pull spent plants at the end of the season, I'm genuinely amazed at the underground network they've developed. Tomatoes develop deeper tap roots, peppers create dense fibrous root balls, and even my leafy greens establish surprisingly extensive root systems. Let me be straight with you, because I want to set realistic expectations while still conveying how powerful this technique is. You're not going to see results overnight. This isn't a synthetic fertilizer that creates a quick green up. What you're doing is fundamentally improving your soil ecosystem, and that takes time to build. In my experience, you'll start noticing differences within three to four weeks of regular molasses applications. Plants will show improved vigor and resilience first. They'll bounce back faster from stress, whether that's heat, transplant shock, or minor pest pressure. Within six to eight weeks, if you gently excavate near a plant, you'll see noticeably more root branching and a denser root system. The real payoff comes in the overall health and productivity of your garden. Plants with extensive root systems can access more water and nutrients, which means they're more drought tolerant, require less frequent watering, produce larger yields, and show greater resistance to diseases and pests. I've reduced my watering frequency by about 30% in my molasses-fed beds compared to my control beds, and the plants actually perform better. Through my experiments and helping other gardeners at Root Haven Grounds implement this technique, I've seen a few mistakes pop up repeatedly. Let's make sure you don't fall into these traps. The biggest mistake is using too much molasses. More is not better here. Excessive sugar in the soil can actually create problems by encouraging the wrong types of microbes or creating anaerobic conditions. Stick to the dilution rates I mentioned earlier. I learned this the hard way when I got overzealous in my first season and created some rather unpleasant smelling soil conditions in one of my beds. Another common issue is applying molasses solution during the hottest part of the day or getting it on plant leaves. While soil microbes love molasses, leaving sugary solutions on leaves in bright sun can potentially cause leaf burn or attract unwanted pests. Always apply to the soil, not the foliage and do it when temperatures are moderate. Some gardeners also make the mistake of expecting molasses to replace fertilizer entirely. While molasses is incredibly beneficial, it's not a complete fertilizer. Think of it as a catalyst that makes your existing soil fertility more available and effective. You'll still need to ensure your soil has adequate nitrogen, phosphorus, and other nutrients through compost, organic fertilizers, or other amendments. While we're focusing on root development, 
I'd be remiss not to mention the other incredible benefits I've observed from regular molasses use. The enhanced microbial activity doesn't just feed roots, it actually creates a healthier overall soil structure. My heavy clay soil has become noticeably more friable and better draining after two seasons of molasses applications. The increased beneficial micropopulations also provide natural pest and disease suppression. Beneficial bacteria outcompete pathogenic organisms for resources and space, creating a biological barrier against root diseases. I've had significantly fewer issues with root rot, damping off, and soil-borne fungal problems since implementing molasses in my soil management routine. There's also a noticeable improvement in nutrient cycling. Those beneficial microbes are constantly breaking down organic matter and cycling nutrients, which means your plants have steady access to food rather than the feast or famine cycle that can happen with synthetic fertilizers. This steady nutrition leads to more consistent growth and better overall plant health. The beauty of this technique is that once you see results, it's incredibly easy to maintain. I keep a dedicated one gallon watering can in my garden shed with a permanent marker line showing where one gallon sits. When it's molasses day, I do mine every other Saturday during the growing season. I fill to the line, add my tablespoon of molasses, shake it up, and make my rounds. I've created a simple calendar reminder on my phone that pings me every two weeks from April through September. It takes maybe 15 minutes to mix and apply to my entire garden, and the return on that minimal time investment is absolutely incredible. Some of my gardening friends think I have magical green thumbs, but honestly, the magic is happening underground with those microbes feasting on molasses. Here's the truth that experienced gardeners know, but don't always share. Healthy roots are everything. You can have the perfect fertilizer, ideal sunlight, and consistent watering, but if your root system is weak or limited, your plants will never reach their full potential. Molasses is one of the most cost-effective, sustainable, and powerful tools for building those robust root systems that support truly exceptional plants. I've been gardening for over 15 years, and I can honestly say that discovering molasses as a soil amendment ranks in my top three game-changing techniques. It's transformed not just my results, but my entire understanding of what's happening beneath the soil surface. Those microbes aren't just supporting plants, they're creating a living, breathing ecosystem that gets stronger and more effective over time. So dig out that forgotten bottle of molasses from your pantry or grab a bottle of blackstrap molasses on your next grocery run. Start with a simple diluted drench on a few plants and watch what happens. I'm confident that within a season, you'll be as enthusiastic about this technique as I am, and you'll wonder why you didn't start sooner. If you found this information valuable and want to join a community of gardeners who are passionate about building healthier, more productive gardens naturally, make sure to subscribe to Ruth Haven Grounds. We're constantly experimenting with organic techniques, sharing real results, and building better gardens together. Drop a comment below telling me about your experiences with molasses or any questions you have. I read every single one and love hearing about your gardening journeys. And if you know a fellow gardener who could benefit from this secret weapon, share this article with them. Let's spread the word about building better roots and growing more resilient, productive gardens. Happy gardening, friends, and here's to those thriving root systems working away beneath the soil.